Well, good morning, afternoon. Again, good morning. Good to see you. You it too. The 16th of August already. I cannot believe that. And you are back in your New England abode. Back in Massachusetts. Yeah. That's great. Ah, well, I know we have some stuff to talk about that's related to our class and our um, sessions that are coming up, but I wanted to share a little anecdote that's sort of tangentially related because it took up a big amount of space last week for me. I am doing a session for um, a conference called Indie PubCon in the end of October, and it's actually a recorded session, so I had to record it last week, and I found a great new piece of online software to do it with, and I was very excited about it, and I did my practice session, and I was excited because the software or the online program is really easy to record yourself and your slides, put it all together. So I did my practice recording, it was great. I did my real recording and it was great except for a little mess up at the end. And I thought, oh, I'll just go in and re-record the last slide where I messed up. And the program called Tele.TV, I, I really do feel great about it, I love it. <laughs> I think they need a little more documentation they have a little um, menu selection that says replace. And I thought, oh, I'll go in and replace the last slide that I messed up. And I clicked replace. I recorded my new little bit of video for that. And I went back and I found that my previously 45 minute con uh, slideshow was now 45 seconds. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> so it had actually not given me any warning that replace meant replace your entire thing that you've done. So I took a deep breath and I had that awful feeling. I know as writers, like everybody has experienced this. I know that feeling of working on something and you know that you should be saving. I think it happens a little less now because a lot of us have auto save. But I remember in the days when you had to remember to hit save every so often and you didn't and then you got to this great ending and then your computer crashed and you lost all your work. So anyway, I had a little bit of that feeling, but I just went back and took a deep breath and we did the whole thing and now it's done. Um, so the um, so that was my experience with prompts last week. But you had a much better experience, it sounds like. Well, recording for a conference presentation is it's like a new art, you know. It's virtual yeah. conferences are pretty new. So it is true. Um, when is your conference gonna be? It's the end of October. I don't know the exact date. It's the, between the 24th and 26th, and I'm not sure of my, my slot yet. So I will I will let everybody know when that's when I know, as soon as I know. And I'm in a conference, a virtual conference at the same at the same time, the, the last oh. weekend of uh, October. So oh, great. Uh, okay, but I think mine is like live on Zoom, not pre-recorded. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I was expecting that it was well the it, uh, the other interesting thing is I've never done a recorded session with prompts. So the other thing I had to do was the first time I recorded, I sort of stood there. I gave the prompt, you know, for five minutes and I was standing there staring at the camera. And then I thought, that's really creepy. <laughs> yeah. So I stepped out of the frame while the prompts were going on. So that, that was a much better, I, I think the audience will have a much better experience of that. I think what I've just what I've been doing is I turn off my camera, but I keep my shared screen with the prompt ah, on it. That yes. works so that's too. Another thing I found difficult to figure out how to do on this program was turn off my camera in the middle. So I just stepped away. People got my back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I would love to hear. I I want to see. Can you show? Do can you do a show? Yes, show and tell. My whoops. Can you see that? Yes, I can. Oh, yep. There we yeah. are. It's, yeah. um, I guess I have to hold it in front of my face. You do. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's my, my, my new deck of um, cards that are uh, beautiful images of Nova Scotia on the front, you know, my beautiful images. And then on the back, a whole bunch of prompts. So I'm sort of imagining that um, people can use the, the images for inspiration, like to, to sort of go into an image is always interesting to do. And then also, um, you know, use it like an Oracle deck 
shuffle them and pick a pick a prompt and just use it for free writing in the morning or whatever. So they're all um, memoir type prompts. That is fantastic. I mean, that's something that I actually I've been thinking a lot about in terms of prompts. And I think it's one reason they work so well, at least for me, is the unexpected nature of them. I mean, you're mm -hmm. not you're not planning what you're going to do. You're letting whatever the prompt is lead you somewhere, which is right. always unexpected and surprising and fresh and, so. and fun. Yeah. And also, I think that as with um, Oracle cards, you know, if you found that one prompt kept coming up, it might be some kind of signal that you really need to delve more deeply into whatever that that issue is. So. It'll be fun. So they're not quite, um, you know, these are my 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 prototype cards and they they should be ready for sale in September. I'm hoping. That's great. Well, that is fabulous. So we will keep it keep us posted on when we can get them. And mm -hmm. and I think so you said they're memoir based or related mm -hmm. to a fiction writer use them too. Uh yeah, absolutely. I mean. Um, should I read one? Let's see. This yeah. one came up. It's called um, each each prompt has a title. So this one is portals. It's that's the image, and it says, "You can't achieve what you can't envision." This is your visionary's crystal ball card. Use it to cast your mind forward and conjure up a vision of the thriving future you desire. Dream big. Use your oh so powerful imagination to make it happen. And once you're there, settle in and take a look around. Who's there with you? What are they doing on this fine future morning? <laughs> so that's the well, yes. Yeah, so I I often have this as you know, a fiction writer. I will take something like that and use it, you know, um, dive into a character using that. So I just say, okay, it's not me, it's my character. And exactly. Me. Yes. Yeah. So, so they're fun. I'm, I'm excited about them. Yeah. All right. Well, that sounds like we both had pretty productive weeks. And so ah, with that, I guess we better get started on this one. So we'll have something to talk about next week. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. All right. Well, have a great day and we will see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.